Skadoosh, skadoosh. Welcome back to the channel, my ninjas. My name is Joey Moss of Bad Boy Gaming. And we got a fun 2013 corset for that tight booty. We are going to be cracking this sucker open. Hello, gorgeous. Welcome back. We're going to see all what's inside. First one is going to give a few shout outs real quick. Spencer McLaughlin, Carlos Villamar, Nick Royce, Bobby Lewis, Aaron Foster, Devin Hayer. Uh, Devin Heyer, sorry, got it, corrected it. Richard Price, Chad Erickson, Matt Salad, Jonathan Wolf, Dustin Bates, and Ethan and Messner. Also, one more thing, my buddy Joe, um, he's into like huge festivals and whatnot, and promoting different festivals for people to listen to new music uh, and meeting you know new friends. These festivals include EDC, Vegas, Electric Forest, and Burning Man. I actually, went to a Burning Man a long time ago. It was pretty badass. Had a great time there out in Arizona. God, I feel old. That was so long ago. Um, but still, awesome shit, man. Um, uh, he's a promoter and a public figure in the EDM community. So like the picture, I'm going to provide a link for it. Uh, it's on Instagram. And if he gets over 1,000 likes, he'll be giving away two tickets to the next festival uh, that you're interested in. Like the picture, and you got to tag two friends in it. It's that simple. That's all you got to do. You'll see the link uh, pinned in the comment section below. So good luck, and let's get that sucker up to a 1,000, you dig? Giggity. Look at this suck right here. Look, Speaking of sucks, look at this guy. He does not suck. Actually, this one, not so good. Let's see if we can pull one of them. Nicole Bolas, where are you hiding out, playa? And also, one more thing. Um, pretty soon here, I'm going to be opening loot crates. Like, I think once a month, I'm... And, and, in terms of replacing, sorry, I'm talking too much. In terms of replacing the repacks, I'm going to start doing loot crates. Because I wanted there to be some kind of different mystery, Disciple of Bolas. I wanted there to be a different kind of like, you know, mystery thing. Repacks were a mystery, but man, I just took way too big of a loss on them. And uh, they just never ended up working out. It was just terrible. Every time I'd get a repack, it just led to absolute garbage. I think I proved my point on those, that repacks are trash. Um, thank you, everyone, who's stuck around for a while um, and actually taking the time, you know, to see what the repack series was all about and that uh, I did take it very serious, and um, in the end, uh, it's garbage, <laughs> and that's it. There's nothing more to say. Phyrexian Hulk. Sun Petal Grove got some of that. Uh, it enters the battlefield tap unless you control a uh, forest or a plains. Not a bad card. Just reprinted, by the way. Um, what was that? Dominaria, right? I want to say it was good old Dami. Good old Dami. Can we call Dominaria Dami? And hello, 110 bucks a box for Dominaria. How ridiculous is that? It just keeps on climbing. Um, I don't think they're going to reprint a bunch of that. They might do one run. They might not do any more runs, and that's going to be it, and that sucker's going to just soar up in price, believe it. Uh, Rancor, solid card right there. <clears throat> Kite Sail. Sarah Angel, you gorgeous girl. Void Stalker. This is Sarah Angel, by the way. Anyone curious about the playmat, this is actually uh, Sarah Angel, a rendition of it done by Douglas uh, Schuler, the original artist. Void Stalker. What's the sucker about? For three, put Void Stalker and Target Creature on top of their owner's libraries. Then those players shuffle their libraries. Yeah, sure, why not? I'd like to pull a foil. Oh, that's a nice looking foil right there. Bond Beetle. Gorgeous looking. Get a load of that prettiness. I love it. I love my foilies, baby. I love my foilies. Favorite foil, go. What's your favorite foil ever? Like, what foil you think just, like, pops when you look at it? And you're like, damn, that is what I'm talking about. It just gets you all excited inside, literally. Uh, we got a Knight of Infamy. I like that word. It's a fun word. That's a badass artwork right there. Protection from white, and it's exalted, and only two to bring out. Pretty dope card. Switcheroo, like the name. Fog Bank. Thundermaw Hellkite. One of my top ten favorite dragos. Uh, it's five to bring out. Flying Haste. It's a mythic. When Thundermaw Hellkite enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to each creature with flying your opponent's control. Tap those creatures. Pretty cool that it taps all them creatures down there. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been playing um, on MTGO, and this is in my dragon deck, and I've actually forgot a few times about the second ability. And I was waiting to bring that card out. Oh, I got your mask. And I didn't bring the card out when I could have won the game. Um, just thought I'd share that with you. You ever just uh, you ever have the game won, but you just make a mistake? Yeah, that's that's kind of what I do here. Sphinx of Common Bulk. 
Sphinx of Common Balk's pretty cool. I think that, okay, we're gonna try to organize this a little bit here. <laughs> you go up here, there you go. All right, cool. Can we get something juicy? Can we get something to take the patties off? Take the patties off. Yes, I'm, I'm blurring what I said there, but you can understand it, I think. I think you can understand what I said there. So yeah, look out for loot crates, guys. Loot crates is going to be something fun. Arms dealer, ground seal, solid card. When ground seal enters the battlefield, draw a card. Cards in graveyards can't be the targets of spells or abilities. Only used to bring out. I like that little card draw ability. Instead of it just being nothing. Uh, instead of it just being cards in graveyards can't be the target of spells or abilities. Um, you can draw a card as well, which makes that card pretty freaking amazing. Got a mine rot, one of my favorite cards to run in black. Target player discards two cards, just nasty. Mind rot. So sick. Ring of Valkis. Equip creature has haste. So look at that. Ring of Evils. Prized elephant and a Thrag Tusk. Look at that badass. When Thrag Tusk enters the battlefield, you gain five life. When Thrag Tusk leaves the battlefield, put a 3 3 green beast creature token under the battlefield. Thrag Tusk is a solid card. Ooh, Rise from the Grave Foil. Pretty nice and shiny up in there. Taking it. We are taking it. Is Thrag Tusk worth. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to look up the prices afterwards. I'm not too focused on the price right now. I just want to smell it. I just want to snort some magic, if you know what I'm saying. I just... Ooh, Evolving Wild. Tell Arbor Elf. Look at all these little staples up in here. God, you think we had a stapler. Uh, Phyrexian Hulk. Quarter, whatever, whatever. Elvish Arc Druid. Love you, baby. Great card. I run a uh, place that leaves them as my elf deck. I think almost any elf deck really has this in their uh, in their deck. You got to. It's just stupid. Other elf creatures you control get plus one, plus one. And if you tap it, add a forest to your mana pool for each elf you control. That's insane. It is truly a great card. I'm surprised it's so cheap. I mean, it's such a damn good card. I think that it only goes for like a dollar, if that. I could be wrong. I could be mistaking it for something else, but I think I doubt it. I think it's only a dollar. Yeah, pretty nuts. Pretty nuts indeed. Speaking of corset, we got a new corset coming out. We do have a new corset coming out. That's right around the corner, actually. I'm excited for that. Wits end. I'll open it. Total bulk. But man, Battle Bond. Holy smokes. Some YouTubers, man, before they started releasing what Battle Bond was all about, were just talking crap about it. And then. They start showing the cards that are up in it, and it is looking insane. Like, it's looking like Commander Paradise, and that's basically what it is. Wow, look at all those. Stuffy Doll, solid pool right there. I think that's the decent one. No, is it Stuffy Doll? I think Stuffy Doll's all right. I'm not sure. Forest, Mountain, Foil, all up in it. can't remember. Is Stuffy Doll a decent one? Or I think it's, I'm confusing it for another doll, maybe. Or Stuffy Doll's all right. Uh, it's indestructible. It enters the battlefield, choose a player. When Stuffy Doll is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to the chosen player. Stuffy Doll deals one damage to itself. There's that. And it's indestructible. It's kind of cool. I think that's the one that's a little better. Not positive on that note. But man! I mean, people were like, rewind, there you go. Silk Lash Spider. Uh, it has reach and it deals X damage to each creature with flying when you tap it down like that. It's a 2 7. Wow. Still clash by do his next damage. That's insane. That's a really good card. Uh yeah. Ooh, fervor. Fervor! Fervor friggin' foiled! That is popping like crazy. Look at that. Creatures you control have haste. Nasty sauce. Fervor solid. And it's a foil. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm gonna put that in the cool guy pile. That goes up in the cool guy pile. The cool guy pile is it's all, all the stuff that goes to patrons. Now you know. Now you know, now you know. Or that's in the patron pool, I should say. There you go. All right, let's see what else we get up in here. Fairies, we got some fairies. Dust mantle, acidic slimes. Dope card right there. Enters the battlefield, uh, destroy target, artifact, enchantment, or land. That is a good card, I must say. Helion Crucible. What's all this do? Look at all this nastiness. Not even nastiness. Let's look at all this confusion here. Add a color to your mana pool for two. Put a pressure counter on Helion Crucible for uh, for two. Tap it. Remove two pressure counters from Helion Crucible and sacrifice it. Put a 4-4 four, four red Helion Creature token with haste onto the battlefield. Eh, it's something. I don't think that, one, that card ever took off too well. You ever win a debt? You ever win a game with Helion over here? With Helion? Am I saying that wrong? I always am. Stuff. We have stuff here. We have stuff. All right. I don't think I have... I've never won a game with that card. I want that lizard card on here. Like this, I want this lizard card right here. That looks fun. Or some nasty merfolk. Or let's get a planeswalker. 
Can we get a Planeswalker? That'd be fun, too. I know they got some pretty sick Planeswalkers in here, like a Johnny. Reliquary Tower, nice. Aquarian Dread. When you cast a white, blue, black, or red spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. There you go. That's going to go in the cool guy pile over there. I don't know about this for so much. Mm -hmm. Going to have to do some research on pricing after all this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see what else is popping up in here. 2013 core set. So now I think people are more excited that the 20... Um, they're more excited for... Hey, that was up in that, uh, that's a, that's a, that's a symbol, symbol, symbolism, symbolism stuff there. Revive, oh my god, Sublime Archangel, Mythic, there you go. Good card, boosh! All the creatures you control have Exalted, Flying Exalted, Nasty freaking Archangel. I think I remember buying a place out of these a long time ago. And a goat! Oh my god, goat lives matters, guys. Goat lives matter. I just, uh, you have to understand that goat lives matter. And that's very important. But I, um, what I was saying, though, I think a lot of people were more excited for 20... 19 core. Why are they calling it 2019 core? Why aren't they calling it 2018 core? Is, is anyone else confused to shit about that? Isn't it coming out in 2018? Am I the only one that is questioning what the hell is going on with that? Another acidic slime. Volcanic Battle of Wets. Could have said shits, but we didn't. There we go. We did anyway, though. Ooh, Disentomb. Nice. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Whoop, I'm sorry. I'm a little up there. That's a nasty little card. That is a nasty little card. I like that it's foil, though. But now that uh, Battle Bond is out and all the spoilers are out, <laughs> it's looking phenomenal, man. And uh, have any of you changed your mind? Are you are you more excited now for Battle Bond uh, than you were for Gilded Lotus? I love you. Oh my God! Add three mana of any one color to your mana pool. You gorgeous little sucker. Right now, what we're opening is less value than Dominaria. Is that insane or what? This box costs less than Dominaria. So my predictions on Dominaria going to 120 to 130 within a few months of release is on target. It's the unpopular opinion. And many people talk shit to me about it. And all them little shit talkers are about to be quiet. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, yes, they are. Keeping it going, baby. It's fun to be right. I'm all. I, I also get wrong sometimes. I get wrongs. Okay, I did some wrongness here and there. What was the last biggest thing I was wrong about? Uh, Dampening Sphere. I was right that it would be just an amazing card, and it is. But I was wrong that it would be like some t touch of the eternal nice card. I was wrong that it may be uh, printed in a more rare form. I was definitely wrong about that. And hey, no problem. I was wrong. It's cool. No biggity, my dudes. But when I'm right, oh, baby, I love being right. Especially when the, the odds are just stacked against me. Uh, Rook's Faith Menda. Decent card. Lifelink, if you would gain life, you gain twice that much life instead. So 1-5. Fun little card to throw in a deck. Fun little card. Anyone running the Rook's Faith Mender? Are you running some rocks? Are you running a couple of rocks up in your shit? Come on, let's pull something good. Sorry for the late upload today. Garuk's Pack Leader, Switcheroo, Arms, Mutilate, fun looking card. Got a foil, Swamp, Spiked Balath. Wow, we got a lot of uh, foils in here, it seems. I guess they were nice to us back in the day. And they gave us a lot more uh, foils. Like, I, I feel like every three, um, every three packs we're pulling a foil on average here. It's pretty remarkable. That is pretty freaking remarkable. Or maybe it's just this one. No, look at all. Oh, it blew out. <laughs> ah, Kralma's Memorial. Creatures you control have you in the game. That's what they have. Creatures you control have flying, first strike, vigilance, trample, haste, and protection from black and red. You slapped this sucker down. If you lose the game and this thing resolves, there's a problem with your deck. I'm just going to throw that out there right now. If you lose the game with the Chromas out there, there is a problem with your deck, man. And, and you should consider not playing anymore. Because that card is so overpowering. we got a foil. What's it going to be? Oh, my God. Oh, got a little dribble. Sorry about that. Another acidic slime. Man, you see one, you've seen them all. Staff of Nin. We got a Staff of Nin. Well... We have at the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card. Staff and in deals one damage to target creature or player. There you go. Staff and in. 
Oh, and a Hydro Surge. Target creature gets minus five, minus zero until end of turn. I mean, that's cool, but it's not. It's cool, but it's not. I mean, did, did a Hydro Surge ever win you the game? It could, it could have, I guess. I guess a Hydro Surge could have won the game. Oh, yeah, Deck Techs. I'm going to bring back some Baller on a Budget Deck Techs pretty soon here. Definitely, I'm going to be running more deck techs because um, it looks like that's what people are wanting. So, And make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Oblivion Ring. Sheeman Bulk, that's cool. <clears throat> make sure you give the video a thumbs up. I should have said that earlier. Because by now, there's only about, I'd say, 200 of you make it this far in. So give me a skadoosh also if you're still hanging around. <clears throat> Appreciate that, my ninjas. Mark of Mutiny. Mark of Mutiny. Blah, 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 blah. Aldrich, Master Tactician. He looks cool. He's got the first strike ability. And a bunch of other stuff. Um, at least If you attack with him and at least three other creatures, you choose which creatures block this combat and how those creatures block. There's that. Sounds fun. Elvis Visionary, you are fun to look at. Ooh, this is a high stack. Dust Mantle, quarterly. Boundless Realms. Search your library for up to X basic land cards, where X is the number of lands you control and put them out of the battlefield tap. What on God's green earth do you need that many freaking lands for that late in the game? I mean, if you're able to cast seven already, I mean, you must be... I, I don't know what you're going for there. I, I just don't know what you're going for. I mean, that's a lot of lands. It really is. I mean, holy smokes. That's a lot of lands. <clears throat> Can we get a Planeswalker? Another Reliquary Tower. Hell yeah. Cathedral of War. Nasty card. This should have went in my one zombie deck. It really, really should have. Uh, we are pulling the value out of this, though. That's for sure. Uh, it's got Exalt. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, that creature gets plus one, plus one, plus one turn. This is not what I was talking about. This is not the card. Not the card I was talking about. It's a fun card nonetheless. Forest, Divine Favor. Pretty cool. Look at that. Look at all those little shields around her. She's all divine and such. That's pretty much fun. And we got the Drake token there. Come on, a Johnny. Can I get a Planeswalker? Honestly, I can't complain. This has been a really good opening thus far. We pulled uh, two... Two pretty sick mythics. Why is that card so beat up in the back? Oh my god! At least you wait till I get to it. It looks like it looks like it was ran over. Ring of the Volcanic Master of the Pearl Trident. Hell yeah! Other Murfolk creatures you control get plus one plus one and have Island Walk. It's a two drop. The Deuce Deuce. Great freaking card. This is the card I was talking about. Let Island is just destroyed. It's seen better days. It's seen better days. You see that up there in the corner? It says Party Foul. It's a party foul. Almost threw it away. Almost threw it away. It almost hit the garbage can. <clears throat> All right. I am going to summon the magic gods that we pull a planeswalker. Can we pull the planeswalker? I summon the magic gods. It must appear. Dang it. That is not a planeswalker. It's a diabolic revelation. Come on, baby. Can we please pull the planeswalker? I summoned the magic gods to give me a plane. Dang it. That did not work. No matter how deep my voice may get. Dragon Skull Summit. It's a good card, though. Well, that's fun. A card's expansion symbol. Now you know. Common, uncommon, rare, and mythic. You don't see that every day. That's weird. I've never seen one of those before. Oh, and we got an angelic benediction. That's freaking nasty. I swear the foils were nicer back then. A little bit of curvature, but not too much. It's, it's a... Uh... I don't know. People whine about the, the bend a lot. And I get it, because some of the cards, like when they bend, um, you can't, they're not playable anymore. In tournaments, at least. You can't play with them in tournaments. And I get that. But man, people need to just stop whining and just have some fun and play the game. And the people that are whining about it, it doesn't even affect them. Well, at least on YouTube. <laughs> the people that are whining on YouTube. Oh, we got the Planeswalker! It might be a bolus, Nicole. Uh, that is something. That is good. Look at this big old badass. Destroy target non-creature permanent. Gain control of target creature. Nicole Bolas Planeswalker deals seven damage to target player. That player discards seven cards, then sacrifices seven permanents. Ridiculous freaking card, man. So strong. When a Bolas hits the bat, I can't wait to see an Urza Planeswalker. Like, like Urza. Urza enter the, enters the battlefield and flips you off. You grab your ankles, tuck, and run. 
And that's, I guess you'd fall over if you did that in that order. Um, that's fun, though. Wrinkle of Empire Nighthawks, solid. Slumbering Dragon, fun little card there. I think that's in a cool guy pile. So, wow, this has been a really good box. We got the Planeswalker. The Magic Gods have answered us. The Magic Gods have answered us. I want to get greedy and say let's get another Planeswalker, but I don't think we're going to do that. So many, uh, redirect. You may choose new targets for target spell. There's that. I mean, that's fun. That'd be fun just to interrupt and say, no, I'm going to destroy something of yours. I like the artwork out of that, dude. It's like a flame, like a fireball. He's like, oh, shit, it's magnifying on me. Here it comes. It blows up. Like, oh, cinder. Ring of Thune. How about an Archangel of Thune? That'd be pretty fun. Like. That was cool. Uh, when the liquor enters the battlefield, um, put a counter on tar an artifact you control, and uh, this thing's indestructible when you control no permanents with uh, phylactery counters on them. Sacrifice phylactery leak like Lich. It's a Lich. It's a Lich. I dated a girl with the last name Lich before. Just saying, that happened. That was something. God, I was so young then. Oh my, oh my God, I was like 15 years old. I mean, her real name's not Lich. There's more to it, but I'm not going to go into all that because that's, you know, it's giving away secrets. You know, it's giving away secrets to people. You can't give away secrets. You can't do that, guys. Tormund's Captain of the Watch. Captain of the Watch. A little soldier there. A little soldier. We're down to two packs. Two packs of crack, Jack. Well, we going to get up in here. This has been a 21-minute video. That's insane. That is insane. We definitely took our time on this one. Yes, we did. Mind Claw Shaman. Thank you for hitting the like button if you already have. Sarah Avenger, pretty freaking cool. I do appreciate that. Last pack. Come on, Daddy, let me get some nasty sauce. A little bit of just in the cup, filling up my bucket over on Twitch. Giggity goo. Uh, Roaring Primer Docs. <laughs> Torch Fiend, Knight of Glory. Oh, we ended with a mythic. Look at this thing. I've never even seen this card before. Trample, when Elder Scale Worm enters the battlefield, if your life total is less than seven, your life total becomes seven. As long as you have seven or more life, damage that would reduce your life total to less than seven reduces it to seven instead. That's ridiculous. Elder Scale Worm. Got to figure out a way to give that thing hexproof and just say, well, I win the game. <laughs> Pretty dope. All right, guys, uh, let me know what you think of all this. I don't think this is one of the bigger hits, but nonetheless, I think we did pretty good. We got some pretty solid pulls up in here. I appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, PLA.